And then, ladies and gentlemen, a man who made history, the first Scot to become an amateur youth world champion, now undefeated professional. Here comes the Hutch train, Willie Hurricane Hutchinson! First on 10 pounds, 4 ounces, Willie Hutchinson! It's a very, very important year for me. And hopefully at the end of this year, start of the following year, there will be titles at the end of it. It's the first fight of uh, 2020 for Willie. It's his fight number 11. He's had 10 fights so far, 10 wins. Very good. He's on BT Sport. And, you know, this is going to be the year he's going to get another 10 fights and hopefully chase a title. He's looking very good. He's looking in tremendous shape. He's fighting at Bethnal Green on Saturday. And, you know, big things are happening for him this year. Got married and I moved here straight away. <laughs> I'm just sticking in the gym. I'm training like a pure animal. He's moved to Sheffield, which shows you the commitment with his wife. They've moved away from Scotland. He can fight, he loves to fight. You know, as I say, he fights for fun. He's got a very uh, aggressive style, but he can box and he's very charming as well. So he's got, you know, he ticks all the boxes. And, you know, in a year or two time, he's going to be a household name. <laughs> Look at him, enjoying themselves. <laughs> Breathing. <laughs> oh, that's good in that shot, Liam. That's the one. Yeah. It's very, very good. We all push each other, and we all want to better ourselves. It's a fight to the end, really. We all get on. It's a good laugh, and when you need to no, focus, no, you no, get focused. Stop holding, Stop holding Liam. <laughs> There's a good vibe, you've got Liam Williams who's doing exceptionally well over the last 12 months, Kid Galahad, Kel Brooks made a comeback. Where do you want to throw that body shot now? Where do you want to throw it, watch? That's the one. Ready? Hup. It looked brilliant the other night. And you can see Willie looking at these guys and thinking, well if it's worked for them, it's going to work for me. I've trained with them through the camp for these fights, and so I know how much work they've put in. I was thinking when I was watching the fights, so hopefully one day I'm going to be there, and they're going to be watching me. It's going to take a good 10 years to get him to become British, Commonwealth, European and World Champion. It's probably going to be the last project I do. And it's going to take me well into retirement age, but that's the amount of time you have to spend on these fighters. Uh, the last project really was Kid Galahad, came in this gym when he was 13. He's now nearly 30, that's 17 years. He's challenged for a world title, just won another world title eliminator, and he's back in for another world title fight very soon. So hopefully we've got the blueprint. And it's just a case of Willie Hutchinson following that blueprint and turning him into a world champion. I've said to him, you'll box till you're maybe 30, 34, you'll make a fortune, you'll be able to move back to Scotland, buy yourself a castle and, you know, live there with your princess. <laughs>